Hello, I'm Meredith Carpenter, licensed massage therapist, and I'm going to show you a couple techniques for self-massage for the jaw area today. Um, so the jaw is actually an, an area where tension can contribute to pain and discomfort in your neck and your shoulders. Um, and also jaw tension is very common during stressful situations and stressful time periods like we're going through now. Um, it's very easy to, without even realizing it, clench your jaw. And people, um, it's very common to do that when you're sleeping also when you don't even realize you're doing it. So if you're waking up with a lot of discomfort and stiffness in your neck and or jaw, any ear pain, um, any kind of nervy pain in your face, that could be related to clenching your jaw at night. Um, even if you don't realize you're doing it. So these couple simple techniques can help you relax your jaw and um, they can be done um, a couple times a day in the morning and in the evening is a good time or anytime you think about it. Um, there are a couple techniques that you're going to be working inside your mouth. For those, I do those when I take a shower because I feel like, oh, if I'm massaging inside my mouth, um, and I accidentally drool or something, I'm already in the shower, no big deal. So it's a very convenient time. So if you can remember to do it when you're in the shower, um, that can be really helpful and a helpful reminder. Okay, so um, the first thing you're gonna do is develop, um, get into a stance where you're just sitting in a relaxed way and um, softly close your jaw and also, or rather close your mouth, um, but pay attention to where your tongue is. Let your tongue rest softly on the bottom of your mouth. So don't press your tongue up on the roof of your mouth. That pressing your tongue up on the roof of your mouth actually starts to coil your jaw. And again, it's like one of those, it can be an unconscious stress response to do that. Um, so just soften and take a nice deep breath. and just let everything sink and soften. Okay, so we can start by getting your fingertips and massaging. This is your temporalis muscle all around your ear. And you just kind of do, 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 do like this all around your ears. And this is actually a jaw mover. If you bite, you'll be able to feel the muscle fibers engage. So this is just gently warming up. And you can experiment whether slow feels better or fast feels better, usually a combination. Um, if you feel tight areas, you can kind of sink in and do little mini circles. So just all around that ear area. And you can also get a family member to do this too. It feels really good when somebody else does it too, but. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to this muscle is called the masseter. And my teacher taught me this is the soap opera muscle because um, in soap operas, when they get tense and they quench their jaw, you can like see it engage. I always remember that. So just circles on the masseter. And the funnier your face looks, the better. And you can start to feel how um, this muscle is actually pretty ropey. So you can kind of feel the ropiness. Well, mine is probably because it's tense. And just soft, slow circles, just warming everything up. And then we're going to trace the mandible. That's the name of the lower jawbone. So you can take your thumbs and take your finger and just kind of trace with small circles. And you start all the way at the angle of the mandible here. And if you have any um, lymphatic congestion, so if you have like swollen, swollen glands or if you're feeling sick, this would be contraindicated because there are lymph nodes right along the jaw. So just pay attention. If it feels tender or if you feel little jelly bean shaped things, um, don't do this part. The jelly beans are just lymph nodes that are fighting infection. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way down to the chin, okay? And then we're gonna do the parts inside um, the mouth. And so if you 
want to pause and go wash your hands. Always make sure you wash your hands before you work inside your mouth. Um, so pause and wash your hands and come back. Um, but if you have, if you've already washed your hands, then hopefully we're all washing our hands many, many times a day these days. So, um, my hands are all washed. So I'm going to go take my pointer finger. And the first thing I'm going to do is pinch the masseter muscle from the inside. So working the, um, jaw is kind of funny because when you push on the muscle, you actually are pushing it into the hollow of your cheek. So sometimes it can be hard to work on the tight spots. So when you do the, it's called intraoral or inside the mouth massage, you're gonna um, let your finger, so pretend my pointer finger's inside my mouth. It's gonna go back to about here. And then my thumb is gonna pinch the outside of the muscle here. So I'll show you the outside of the muscle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do a little pinching. And then when I find a tender spot, I'm gonna slowly open and close. Uh -huh. I'm just pinching along the muscle. And it feels really ropey. Okay, so I found a good spot. So now I'm going to Mm -hmm. you'll be amazed if your jaw is tight it can feel so ropey it almost feels like is that a muscle or is that a bone and it can feel really hard so just use pressure that's comfortable that feels like it's engaging um, but that doesn't feel like it's super painful these muscles can be really sensitive um, so that was pretty quick. Again, it doesn't take that much time to start to initiate a relaxation response in the muscles. I'm going to do the other side and show you again. Hi. You want to call Naomi? No. You can come and say hi. That's my four-year-old. Mm -hmm. the other side again this my my you might find that one side is more tight than the other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you want some massage <laughs> and if you're unsure you're on the muscle just come to the outside again and bite when you bite you'll feel that muscle engage so if you're struggling to figure out, am I on, what kind of tissue am I on, just exit your mouth, come outside, and burp, and then use that muscle engagement as a landmark, and then go on higher. Okay, so that's pretty simple. You don't have to do it for very long. The next one is um, really a potent one. Well, when will you be done? Um, one minute, because I only need to do a 10 minute video. So one, one and a half minutes. <laughs> okay, thumbs up. Only 10 minutes of self care. Okay, huh? What we're gonna do is we're gonna massage a muscle called the medial pterygoids. And they are actually a fabulous muscle. I could talk for a very long time about it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always email me. They're muscles that are almost always coiled like a little spring. And their job is to maintain the tension um, just kind of like a coil and they never really fully relax. So they actually don't have um, an independent ability to relax neurologically in the same way that like your quads do or your other muscles do. So this type of contact is very profound for creating a little bit more space in the jaw and helping them just soften and relax. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna describe it and then I'll show you. Cool. You use your pointer finger, right? Yeah. Pointer finger. Right. And you're gonna follow the top row of teeth all the way to your back molar. And then when you get to your back molar, <clears throat> whether or not you have your wisdom teeth out, um, so you might feel a little space on your gum. But behind that, there's a little pocket 
and you're gonna go up into the little pocket and then the motion is kind of like a forward hook. And you really only stay there for like two seconds because it's often very tender. Yeah, right. Right, that's kind of really hurt, okay? I'm going to follow the top row of teeth, go to the pocket behind, and then I'm going to hook forward. Um, the teacher that trained me in this said um, the motion is kind of like trying to poke your eye out from behind. Like that's the direction, which is a little um, kind of macabre, but, you know, if that helps you, that's great. Okay. Uh-huh. Kind of a little hock it. Uh, huh? And then I'm going to close my mouth just a little bit. Deep breath. <sighs> so again, this is a direction. Uh -huh. And it, it's very easy to make yourself drool, so you can have a little washcloth handy if you make yourself drool. Um, I, see, it's only, it's really only like a one or two second contact. And um, you what can, you can move your jaw a little bit when you do it. Uh, hey, if that feels good, but you might, you might just want to stay still and take a nice deep breath because it can be very stingy, um, especially the first few times that you do it. Um, but already I feel like this side is so much more open and I only did that for one second, one time. So I'm going to do the other side to show you. I'm going to follow your top row of teeth. Uh, when you get to the pocket behind your gums, go uh, uh -huh. up and forward. And deep breath. And then release. Got your spit rag. And that's it. So that's your medial pterygoid massage, your mm -hmm. masseter massage from almost done from the outside and the inside, and then warming up the temporalis and um, massaging along the <sighs> mandible. Um, so again, please get in touch if you have any questions. And I hope that this helps you um, have some more space and relaxation in your jaw and that it will trickle down into your neck and shoulders and help you stay relaxed and grounded um, and be well. Thank you so much.